This is Cameron Chai from AZO TV, and today I'm on site at Pyrosize with their CEO, John Shanahan. I'd like to welcome him to the program. Welcome, John. Thank you, Cameron. So, John, can you tell us a little bit about what Pyrosales does? Well, Pyrosales uh, is a, an industrial temperature sensor manufacturer. We've been in business for well over 35 years and servicing sort of the Australian market initially. Um, um, in recent times we've sort of uh, expanded into uh, a world market where we sort of most probably do about 20% of our business overseas. And so what's, what are some of the products that you manufacture? Typically sort of uh, they're, they're uh, things that sort of measure temperature, primary elements that sort of are there to um, uh, measure the temperature so that they can be controlled sort of in, in processes. So it varies from sort of a, someone in a backyard pottery kiln to industrial processes like glass industries and, and power stations and sort of um, um, and smelters where there are uh, uh, large uh, requirement for temperature monitoring. And what sort of industries do you, do you service? Um, the industries sort of vary from um, uh, your copper, met any metals processing. So if you look at the smelting industries, uh, copper, lead, zinc, aluminium, power industry sort of is a, a large uh, requirement for temperature monitoring and temperature sensors. Um, the, all the steel works, the, the steel work industry sort of is uh, where they're making steel sort of has, um, has a lot to do with it. And I think in food, um, sort of basically anywhere where you have something where you want to measure uh, or monitor temperature, there has to be a primary element there to do it. Okay, and just, just behind us here, you've got some of the products that you manufacture. Maybe you could quickly run us through some of those? Well, basically these are some of the accessories that, that we, we have. The, 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 uh, some, the, the connectors, the cables, the ceramics that are used in sort of the uh, manufacture. We have a, a couple of samples of, of the, a typical temperature sensor that you can see. Um, and things in hazardous areas, in high temperature areas, sort of where we can actually sort of um, uh, use to, to, to measure the temperature. In, in uh, chemical areas where you may need sort of a protection that sort of is, is uh, to, to um, uh, allow um, us to measure where it's very corrosive. Um, you, you need things like Teflon or, or other coatings that sort of will be able to be used. All right, John, and then maybe we can have a quick look at some of your production facilities. If you could show us where, where you manufacture the sensors and thermocouples. Yes, well, we um, recently, I've been the CEO now here for just over three years, and sort of after I sort of became CEO, one of the things that I uh, uh, implemented was to, to change the manufacturing area into a clean room um, a facility that sort of it was dust inhibiting and sort of temperature controlled, so that it gave us a, a mo lot more efficient ma manufacturing sort of process a area. All right, so we'll go and have a quick look at those facilities now, and John, perhaps you can sort of explain to us what, what, what the, the areas are and uh, what you do there. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, inside the clean room is sort of where the, the main part of the manufacturing is done. Obviously, any of the dirty work is sort of done outside, but sort of where, where we're sort of doing sort of the final preparations of, uh, for manufacturing is, is done in here. As you can see, we're uh, um, organising there to, to put tailing on sort of, uh, some uh, typical sensors that we're making, um, um, making sure that, so that they're um, well insulated and sort of, um, uh, free of moisture so, so that so they will work within the process. Okay, and, and having the clean room facility, does that allow you to make more consistent product? Oh, it gives an environment sort of for people to work, which is uh, a lot more conducive to, to them producing things um, um, uh, uh, more efficiently. It means that sort of in summer, when it's 40 degrees outside, they can sort of work here with, um, with, um, in comfort, and in winter, when it's uh, 13 degrees, so they can sort of also work here in, in comfort. Here we are in our sort of clean room facility. One of the areas that we've sort of uh, designated is a, a high temperature precious metal area where we make sort of uh, sensors that sort of are used in 
um, high temperature industries, glass, uh, smelting, um, any sort of furnace application. So this requires sort of a, a very clean environment so we're using sort of precious metal wires that, sort of that need to be sort of um, handled sort of with care so that there's no sort of dirt or, or grease sort of introduced. So we've, we've incorporated this part of the facility here to um, uh, make sure that, so that we sort of are producing sort of uh, uh, the products correctly for that, that sort of industry. So typically sort of some of the things that we would make um, are, are thermocouples that sort of will be uh, used up to maybe 15 or 1600 degrees Celsius um, and they have special sheaths on them. These ones are used with alumina. There are many other different sort of sheaths that we have um, a specialist knowledge on to be able to uh, um, uh, suit the applications that sort of we're uh, asked to, to supply sensors for. And so you can obviously manufacture uh, sensors and to, to customer specifications? Very, very much. Uh, they're, they're obviously in our catalogues, we have sort of uh, standard sort of products, but sort of, um, we are a custom sensor manufacturer. So if there's an application that's required, we will go out and sort of look at sort of what's there and, and uh, suggest sort of the, the, the correct installation for the job and uh, sort of manufacture a probe to, to do that sort of sensing properly. And obviously you can put on custom flanges to suit people's Operations. Yes, and, and the the every installation is different, and the way of mounting it is quite different. So um, um, uh, we're, that's where talking to the customer is the 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 prime thing to make sure that we're actually getting the right thing for their application. With the implementation of the clean room, one of the things that we were looking at was uh, getting equipment that sort of were, would uh, suit. Um, the, our ability to custom engineer things and um, an investment was made in a, a laser welder that sort of uh, can do very very fine welding sort of um, um, it's a, a welcome addition to the equipment that we can that, uh, that we have that, that allows us to service our customers. And John, what sort of temperature sensors do you typically manufacture using the laser welder? Well, typically we're able to do very fine. So we can do things like one millimetre thermocouples with ease uh, there, where you are welding the, uh, the two element wires sort of inside a one millimetre size diameter sheath. So uh, the, it's, it's where you need delicate sort of um, 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 welding applications that sort of don't um, blow the, the, the metals apart. So uh, typically TIG welding sort of is at high energy. Um, the, the laser gives you the ability to focus very cl closely sort of and, and sort of give you very fine uh, welding sort of to, to um, make special sort of sensors for, for, for industry. All right, John, thanks very much for giving us a tour of your facility and showing us some of your capabilities. And uh, for anybody who's after temperature control, temperature sensing type products, they can obviously come to you through your website. Yes, our, our website is www.pyrosales.com.au. We have uh, manufacturing facilities in both, in three places, in Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane, which cover the eastern seaboard. And we have a, a sales office that sort of we now have in the USA to try and sort of assist in our North American sort of um, sales. All right, John. Well, if anybody wants to send their inquiries through, I'm sure you'll be more than happy to deal with them. I certainly will. Thank you.